Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I just got my new microphone in. It is a toner, toner USB microphone. It says it's got RGB lights, crisp sound, and volume control. Simple box, clean design, warnings on the back. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Out of the package, we have our handle, or our arm, to mount to a desk and to mount to the microphone. This was nice. Uh, bubble wrap packaging to keep that protected. Nice foam inside to keep everything safe and, and not wobbling around. Pull out our parts. USB to USB-C, so I'll have to see which side goes into my microphone. My computer currently takes both USB-C and USB, so this will be nice. Nothing underneath, just the foam. Simple user guide comes with it. So it's got the pop filter, shock mount, light mode touch sensor. This turns, so if you see the dots there, there, this is a light level control. The top has got a mute button. It's got a gain control. Well, inside of this is the RGB lights. If you can see down here, there's your USB-C port. So to plug this in, we have our USB cable, four hook and latch straps so that we can tie up the excess of our cords. So that's cool. The boom stand and the table mount. This is a sturdy table mount. This is uh, much sturdier than I expected it. metal and plastic a little tightener here so let's put it together so this is going to insert into here this will tighten it up it's got the little knob to tighten and loosen this is threaded and so is this part here so we'll just thread that on and my table Got a little hook there. I'm just attaching this to a plastic table. It's got a cover on it. So I'm guessing this would have to be directly across from me when I would have liked to have had it next to me. This point here, so this turns within this piece which is okay. I'll tighten this up. But I would like to have had this somewhere have a point where it turns towards me so that I could have had my microphone to the side and right in front of me, but that's where I'm gonna have to have it across from me, I think. So let me set that up. The cord itself is almost seven feet long, right under seven. There you go. So once it's connected properly, the lights will come on. We'll adjust this here. Brightness, dim. Simple touch. The button doesn't, um, the button doesn't stick out or anything. So it's just a light tap and it changes colors. It is currently getting power from my computer, 
So that's how it's powered up. Let me see if I can get it to interact with my software. So yes, in my recording software, it showed up right away as my microphone's there, so it doesn't look like I have to do any installation. It does come with instructions on how to install it for Windows 7, 8, 10, 11, and for Mac OS. Uh, but I didn't see anything pop up and say that I needed to do that, so it looks like we're okay there. The arm is a little stiff, but that's not bad. I mean, I'd rather it hold than not hold. I guess those are my options, hold and not hold. So ladies and gentlemen, the reason I picked up this microphone is because I do some recording for myself, some scripture stuff, uh, book stuff, and it's just for my personal use right now that I get to record these. I like to hear my own voice, my thoughts. That way it's me hearing me. And that's why I wanted this, something that I don't have to hold a microphone, something that's right in front of my face. And so I thought I'd give this a try. So I exported this audio as an MP3. Now I'm going to put it into my video editing software and we're going to match it up to see what it sounds like and what the quality is. What I started with, what you originally hear is just me speaking into my phone, whatever the distance is between me and my phone. And that, that's what I was originally recording with. So let's see what this sounds like and then we'll get some final thoughts. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. My final thoughts on this is... I'm so used to recording just through the phone that I'm used to that kind of background echoey sound. So it definitely sounds different to me. I do like the microphone. I do like that it's hands-free. I don't have to do anything now and I can just focus on what I'm doing. Uh, I do recommend this. I think for me, it's just going to take some time getting my uh, settings how I want them. But overall, you can definitely tell there's a difference in sound between just recording to my phone and recording directly into a microphone. But I do look forward to using this more. I do recommend this product. I think it's going to be worth your time. It's advertised as a gaming microphone. So if you're doing some live streams, some gaming stuff like that, that might be worth it. It looks cool if you're not really into the light side of it. Let's check out the mute button. This is... So it turns red when it's muted. So this is now it's going to be a mix between phone and audio or phone and microphone. But that's cool that it'll change color so you know that you're muted. Um, the gain I didn't mess with too much. I don't want to do a lot of that right now. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I think just a few tweaks on my end, getting my settings right. And I think this will be a really good microphone for me. So if you do some live streaming, some podcasting, I definitely recommend this product. Give it a try. And if you think you're interested in this product, I'm going to leave a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, meaning if you click on it and buy it from me, I will get paid at no extra cost to you. And if you have this, let me know what your thoughts are on this microphone. And I will see you in the next video.